You know what's all the rage these days? 3D. You know why? Because it's awesome and it's so much better than 2D. It's definitely better than 1D. Can you even make something in 1D? Vectory is an amazing 3D tool that allows you to create amazing 3D assets and renders right there in the browser. But did you know that Vectory also has an awesome plugin right inside of Figma? That's right, one of our favorite design tools now has a direct link to Vectory. So while you're working and designing on those awesome projects, you can create rad 3D assets, elements, mockups, packaging, and put it right into your project, all without ever leaving Figma. All right, so we have Figma open. Let's dive right in and start utilizing this Vectory plugin. If you head over to our home screen and make sure that you're on the community tab, you can do a quick search for Vectory and you'll find the plugin right here. You can check out some more details and then install it instantly. Uh, I'm actually gonna like this plugin because it's super duper good. And then once it's installed, you can head over to your project and start utilizing Vectory right away. You do that by heading up to the plugins uh, menu and then hitting uh, Vectory 3D Elements, or I like to use the kind of like hotkey command of Command or Alt, depending on your operating system, and forward slash. That will open up the quick access menu inside of Figma, and there you can start typing in Vectory, and you hit that and you will open up your plugin interface. In the very center, we have a 3D mockup that's immediately been placed there. It's a device or a phone. So I can, holding down my left mouse button, I can actually grab and drag and move this thing around in 3D space right here in Figma, which is really cool. With the right mouse button, I'd be able to move on the left, or excuse me, the X and Y axis and place it right where I want on my stage. And I can always use the trackpad or my mouse zoom in or out to get the, you know, like correct sizing or distance. So I have my mock-up placed exactly where I want it, just like that, and now we'd be able to upload a phone inside of it. Before we talk about getting your designs into the mock-ups, let's talk about the other things that are here in this plugin interface. So we have the ability to change the environment settings, the material settings, the scene settings, and then get some help. We're gonna talk about all of those in just a second here. We're also able to turn the ground shadow on and off, which is pretty nice, and then you can actually edit this mock-up directly in Vectory, and that'll open up your browser and allow you to do everything there as well if you want. Over on the right-hand side, you have all of your elements. You have your library. So we have a library full of different mock-ups that can be filtered down by mock-ups or abstract shapes, maybe clothing or cute things. We can actually load things with the share link directly from Vectory, and if you have a Vectory account and you've created a folder and you've load, loaded things into that folder, they're gonna show up right here inside of your projects tab, which is pretty nice. We'll talk about the rest of these buttons down here in a second, but let's go find a mock-up because I have this really cool spray can um, design that I wanna put on an actual spray can. So let's go to mock-ups and I find a spray can right here. I'm gonna go ahead and select it, I'm gonna click it, and it's gonna load it up inside of the plugin. Okay, now that we have the can loaded up on our stage in our canvas here, we have it exactly how we want, maybe a little bit top down here. Let's go back and now check out these options that we have in the top left. We have environment settings, and that's gonna be the intensity of the light. Uh, it's also gonna be the rotation of the light. Where do we want the light to come from? And then the type of lighting. Right now it's set to a studio three-point lighting kit. We can do studio two or one. We can also choose some of these other really interesting lighting options. Like for instance, maybe having it uh, moonless golf. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see this drastically changes what the environment setting of the lighting is. I think I really like that three-point studio lighting, so we're gonna go back to that and just mess with the intensity a little bit. And I like a little bit of drama of the shadow on that side. So that's exactly where I want my lighting to be. Let's move over now to the material settings. Head over to the material settings and you'll notice once we have material settings selected, we can roll over any individual element of these pre-created mock-up elements. So if we wanna change the color of the tab up here, we just select the tab and then change the color however we want. Maybe we want that to be a little bit more on this aqua kind of blue color. Then we can select the, um, maybe all of like the rims of the can, and maybe we want that to be something else. Maybe we want that to be red, or maybe be kind of interesting if we made that more of like a purple color. So we can affect each of the individual elements, but you can also change the roughness overall of the entire can. So you can just see if I zoom in there, that roughness is being like drastically transformed. Let's zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. 
See the roughness going as I go up and down? It's just changing the sheen and the roughness. We can also change the metalness of it so it lo looks a little less metal or maybe like a softer metal. And then this one would be like very harsh or very shiny metal. You can also select the different areas with this drop down. Um, we can actually select the nozzle itself and make that like a fun and interesting color, maybe over here to our purple. Pretty fun stuff and just press yes. And then we've really drastically changed what our mock-up looks like before we even add our artwork. So, all right, now that we have some details of our can set, we wanna get this artwork from our Figma project onto our can. It's really, really simple. We know that our artboard needs to be 2490 by 1858. That's what mine is. And I did that simply by getting the layout. I just pressed get layout from this mock-up and you can see that it dropped that layout into Figma. And then I was able to just add my artwork onto it. I already have a layout, so there it is right there. And we're ready to get it onto the can. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that in your material settings, you have the layout selected. Otherwise you could drop artwork onto this area or onto the nozzle, you can drop artwork anywhere that the mock-up allows you to. So we wanna make sure that the layout is actually selected. And then we wanna make sure in our Figma project that our frame is selected. And then we wanna load the frame. When we do that, it's gonna go ahead and load our frame up onto our design. And again, the whole thing is wrapped around in 3D. It looks really, really good. With that being said, I love this. This is perfect for my project. I'm simply going to export the image and it closes the plugin for me and I can bring that up and place it into my layout just like that. And what's really cool is at any point, if I wanna go back and work from this exact dimension and rotation and the way that I had it, I just make sure that I have my can selected and I'm gonna open the Vectory plugin again and it's gonna immediately load up exactly where I left off on that specific mock-up or 3D element, which is really cool. It's the same exact positioning and everything. If I don't have anything selected and I just load Vectory up, it's gonna load up back into that default mode. Over here, I have some really cool layouts for some beer cans, for some IPA cans that I designed. They just have these fun kind of patterns inside and names. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Vectory again and I'm gonna search for another mock-up. And this time, we're gonna make sure that that mock-up is our beer can mock-up that's somewhere down here. There it is. We're gonna load that beer can up and we're just going to put it exactly where we want it, rotate it, kind of move it around. I like the ground shadow even. I'm gonna select my frame and I'm going to load the frame and boom, we have a beautiful beer can that I'm gonna export out and it pops it right there. I'm gonna put it into my mock-up and just like so, we have our mock-up done. I'm gonna show you another example of what you can do with Vectory. You can create abstract shapes as well. And in this case, we're gonna wrap it with a wood texture. So I'm gonna open up the Vectory plugin. I know that I wanna wrap some sort of object with some sort of texture. So I'm gonna go down and find an object, maybe like this thing's really, really fun. Uh, this kind of like geometric shape. And then I'm just gonna make sure again that my frame is selected. I'm gonna load the frame and it's going to wrap around the entire thing. From there, we could drop that into a website or whatever it is that we're doing. Let's do one more example of maybe like a piece of clothing. I have this kind of weird looking design. You're wondering what's up with that? Well, I'm gonna open up the Vectory plugin and I'm gonna go find a piece of clothing. And in our case today, we're gonna be doing this hooded sweatshirt. So I'm gonna find the hooded sweatshirt. And if you're wondering why this weird design, it's because this is a really intricate design that has lots of different layers 3D. So I wanna get the layout really quickly. And with the layout kind of selected, you can see I could drop that over and then I can just bring down the opacity. Now you see all the different elements that are uh, kind of lined up in our design. So, and we're gonna grab our design again. Let's open up Vectory 3D Elements, our plugin one more time. Let's find the clothing, find the hoodie. Boom, we've dropped our design onto the layout and now let's kind of change the um, the twine one more time so it kind of matches our design. Maybe we'll just do black on that, like an off black. That looks kind of cool. From there, I'm gonna export the image. Boom, we have a nice sweater right there. Let's do one more. Let's open up Vector 3D Elements. That 
That's a pretty cool looking product page that shows off in 3D the product that's done all inside of Figma using the Vectory plugin. What would you start creating with the Vectory plugin right now in your projects? Would you create packaging? Would you create mockups? Would you create cool shapes of texture? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and 3D stuff just like this one. So maybe stick around by hitting the subscribe button and that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and getting out of that 1D and 2D space and into that 3D. I'll see you in the next one.